My name is Marie Belbergay. As you can see, I'm a member of the Meister Guild. If we have inconvenienced you somehow, I offer my sincerest apologies. Holy Sprockets! Is that really a Chrono Compass? The mark of a world-class clocksmith? The thing uh. that allows you to inspect and tinker with all the gears in the world? Can I please, oh please see? <sighs> if you would calm down, there are things we need to discuss. This automaton, YD-01 Ryuzu, is the property of the Brigade family. We have a project that requires its abilities. So I ask that you return it to us at once. Not a chance. Of course, I'll make sure that you're given an appropriate reward. I said no. <laughs> Sorry, but Ryuzu's mine now. <sighs> well, Halter, looks like we'll have to bury this guy and forget we ever met him. Something tells me he won't be missed. We don't have time for this. We can't afford to be picky about our methods. I think you should stop talking now. Shut up! I'm not gonna let this idiot get in my way! I'm serious, Marie. Shut your mouth. And look! <laughs> now then, what was that you were saying about burying someone? junk, and that gun is nothing but a pathetic little toy. But, toy or not, I will not allow you to point it in my master's direction. I will prove this by turning you both into mincemeat. I have no intention to hurt him, and the princess here wasn't serious either. <laughs> Maybe this will find teach you to keep that big mouth of yours closed. I almost just died, so be nice to me. You're wrong about that. If she wanted us dead, we'd be dead. <gasps> now calm down. Like it or not, she's the one who's in control here. I retract my statement that you are a piece of junk. Obviously, you grasp the situation. I apologize for our behavior, but I would like to ask that you hear us out. They're going to purge Kyoto and kill everyone who lives here without a second thought? And this is happening in seven hours? You've got to be kidding! That's why we need you, now. The initial Y series are masterworks. The best automata left behind by Y, the creator of the Clockwork Planet. They are maintenance machines that were entrusted to the future generations of our world. You awoke now for a reason. Because you are the guardian of this planet and it needs you. So, am I wrong? Well... I'm very sorry. You aren't as stupid as I thought you were. You're stupider. In fact, you're so far off the mark, I can't tell if you're even trying to arrive at the correct answer. Hey! Stop that! I don't need pity from you! Fine! If I'm wrong, why don't you tell me what you are? One who follows. <laughs> I exist to stay by Master Naoto's side and do everything he wishes. I'm his servant. I am to fulfill his desires. <laughs> yeah, baby! However, 
Fortunately for you, there is somebody who can help with your current problem. Really? Who is it? Well, you see... Quick, over here! Hey, what's going on? There's a big one coming! <gasps> a gravity anomaly! Is the military beginning the purge now? No, it's way too early. Damage looks extensive. This is just the beginning. Once the real purge starts, it won't be so contained. Yuzu, are you all right? Of course, I am perfectly fine. Okay, tell me how you knew what was about to happen. There was a loud noise from underground. I figured it had to be an anomaly. <sighs> Wait, those are noise canceling headphones. Nowadays, even the cheapest pair has a 100% block rate. How can he even have a conversation? There's some dissonance. It's coming from the Kyoto Core Tower, somewhere on floor 24. Hold on! When I told you about the problem, I said nothing about it being on floor 24. How did you know? Mm -hmm. You're saying that you pinpointed some anomaly seven kilometers beneath us while wearing noise-canceling headphones? Well, yes. Why? That is impossible! Mm -hmm. There's no way a human can do something like that! That's child's play for Master Nauta. <sighs> he did what no one else could. He was able to locate and repair the defect that kept me in slumber for 206 years. Given that, I believe he can save this city. Where generations of Burghese's most talented clocksmiths failed, you succeeded. I just have slightly better hearing than the average person. Not true. As I've said before, you're mankind's most talented clocksmith. That's nice of you to say, but I'm not, seriously. Naoto, <laughs> that was your name? Yeah, that's me. We have a full team working on it. But we still haven't been able to locate the problem on floor 24. And you're saying you can do it alone? No. I can't pick out all the details from here. Then I'll take you where you can pick them out. Anything to keep the purge from going forward. I don't understand why you're even doing this. It sounds like you're surrounded by enemies and you have no hope of solving the problem in time. So why try? Why not get out while you can? I've never been the type of person to calmly accept that something is impossible. I know things don't always work out, but we're alive right now because of the people who weren't afraid to keep trying no matter how hopeless it all seemed. If I run away, then I'll never have faith in myself again. So please, Naoto, help us. The city needs you! I don't know. Since I am nothing but a servant to Master Naoto, I was torn about whether to mention this. But my younger sister is in the basement of the core tower. <laughs> you... uh... <laughs> That's right. My younger sister, Initial Y Series Unit 4, one who annihilates, also known as Anchor. Um, could you tell me a little bit about her? <laughs> she has pretty black hair, which she wears in a short bob, and bright red eyes. She has a little trouble expressing her emotions, and she likes to be spoiled. Well, what are we doing? It's time to get moving, everybody! On, Great, everybody. we've set an automaton-obsessed teenage boy loose on the streets of Kyoto. If the military finds out what we're up to, they'll stop us however they can. We need to make it to the core tower before that. Uh, too late. They already know. What? They're approaching the underground parking lot. She's with a civilian and a bodyguard. A civilian, huh? That's interesting. I expect you to capture Dr. Regay alive, whatever the cost. The civilian and the bodyguard are disposable. I can make out a dozen military automata. They're ready and waiting for us. No, wait a second! We can't just go barging in there like that. It would cause a rift between the Meister Guild and the military for sure, if that happens. Okay. So what should we do instead of barging in there? Play politics? What do you even know about it? Nothing! That's why I'm asking you! You guys are here because you want to fix the core tower, and I'm here because I want to meet Anchor. So let's do what needs to be done. Just focus on the things that matter, okay? 
Halter. What's up? I've just been out argued by a complete doofus. I find that very unsettling. I can tell your ego's been dealt a serious blow. Would you like a little time to recover? We can always go on without you. <laughs> he has a point. Right. We'll focus on what matters. Saving Kyoto. Let's get to work! Sounds good. Since you're so eager to get in there, you better be ready to help us out. Um, I'm not really much of a fighter, so... It's not your fighting prowess I'm interested in. Don't worry. It's that super hearing of yours that I mean to put to use. Brigade unit, a prototype two generations ahead of what's current. So cool! Hey, do you think I can take a look inside of you later? <laughs> Master, since you have yet to release a torrent of pent up lust upon me, I started to think you were impotent. Now, I suspect the problem is that I am not actually your type. No! It's not like that, Ryuzu! Any gear nerd would want the same thing, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about before. Thanks for not letting me die. It's in my best interest to keep you alive. <laughs> now try not to fall behind, okay? <laughs> He's dead accurate on the location and type of all the enemies. No one should be able to do that. Whatever this is, it's more than just good hearing. Hey, Marie, hold on a second. <laughs> what now? There's a big one right there. <laughs> Optical camouflage? Is that the VS-08 Goliath? These guys definitely aren't screwing around. I don't understand how this happened. She's dead? It was us or them. We had no choice but to shoot her. Okay, here's what we're going to do. After the dust settles, we'll release a statement saying she was lost during the purge. Are you certain? The military has as much to lose as we do if anybody ever finds out that someone from Basharon was involved in the murder of Brigade's daughter! Damn it! This wasn't the plan. People keep getting in my way. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Is that all right? Yeah, I got the recording I needed. It should be plenty of evidence to prove the connection between the military, the guild, and the Vacheron pigs. <laughs> Was it necessary? Did you have to fake your own death? Wow, Ryuzu, that was seriously awesome! You are too easily impressed, Master Naoto. You should have higher expectations of the people who serve you. Yes. Marie Belle Bourget is dead. There's nothing left to bind me now. From here on out, I choose my own path to follow. Alter. I'm on it. <laughs> How could you destroy a perfectly good chrono compass? What's the big deal? It's just a hunk of metal. Let's focus on the things that matter. Right. Now come on, let's go and save Kyoto! My god. And it's going to get so much worse. Drive faster. Right. Excuse me, Master Nelty. Huh? Huh? What's going on back there? <laughs> that was close. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I'm okay, thanks to you. But what about the others? I managed to save your insignificant life while ensuring my master's safety. Couldn't you have found a better way? Jeez! Sorry, <laughs> folks. I think we need to save this little chat for later. They sent out the core tower's defense squad. It looks like we've reached the end of the road. <sighs> Hold on, Ryuzu! What are you doing? Eliminating them. 
These unsightly piles of junk made the mistake of pointing their weapons at my master. So now, they are mine to dispose of, as I see fit. What do you think you can do? Those are the latest military automata designed specifically to protect the poor tower. It doesn't matter how many of these scrap heaps there are. They're no match for me, even though I am the weakest among my sisters. Classification, Initial Y-Series Unit 1. One who follows, Ryuzu. Unique ability, Dual Time. Initiating activation sequence. <sighs> Commencing shift, from clock one real time to clock two imaginary time. Chrono Hook, making the jump from normal mode to imaginary mode. Ryuzu! Don't worry, Master. It will be all right. I am simply going to activate the imaginary gear that you fixed. To you, only a moment will seem to pass. But it will be approximately three hours for me. I ask that you please allow me to leave your side during this time. No! Relative activation. Mute screen. Begin! are just out of energy. She really did all this by herself? No time for gawking. Let's get out of here. <laughs> gotta get inside the core tower. Just give me a second and I'll wind you back up. Imaginary time. Incredible. Mind explaining the concept for us laymen? Imaginary time. An idea that exists only in physics calculations. At least, that's what I thought. Imaginary time runs orthogonal to what we experience as regular time. The time is rotated by a Lorentz transformation. It becomes symmetrical in Minkowski space-time. Ah, I see. No, actually, I don't. Essentially, Ryuzu defeated those automata by fighting in a timeline that we can't perceive. Incredible. No wonder she was completely drained after that. You haven't understood half of what I've said, have you? How did you fix her when you don't know anything? Hmm. Maybe not knowing actually helped me. I mean, the fact that Y even thought of building a planet out of gears suggests he had a screw loose somewhere. So doesn't it kind of make sense that the automata he built are a little absurd too? been out long? <laughs> Ryuzu? Um, I have something to ask. Ryuzu, will you please marry me? Very ridiculous question, even for you. <laughs> so, have you been planning that insane proposal long, or is this a nervous breakdown? I couldn't help it. I opened my mouth and it just came out. <laughs> I mean, you saw what she did. How could I not fall in love after something like that? I'm human, you know? <laughs> after this latest embarrassing outburst, I think it's painfully clear that you are a few gears short of a clock. <laughs> of course, I should have known. We can only ever be master and servant, never anything more. <laughs> I was under the impression that Automata had to obey their masters in every regard. How insulting. Please don't presume to compare me to the love dolls who happily spread their legs the moment the master registration is complete. I am not a mindless object designed to be lusted over. 
I like Master Nato of my own free will. <laughs> Your free will? But you're an automaton. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Go ahead. When I proposed just now, you said it was ridiculous. Is there a reason I can't marry you? I'm your servant, but if we married, we'd be a couple. And that would put us on equal footing with one another. The idea that a master and his servant could ever be equal? Impossible. Then, let's do this. Just nod if the answer is yes, and shake your head if the answer is no. Mm. Is it true what you said before, that you like me of your own free will and not because you were previously configured by somebody to do so? Mm. Okay, here's my next question. Is it more than like? D d d d d do you love me? Times to show me how much? grid is sinking deeper and deeper into the ground. The two geniuses work hard doing everything they can to repair the core tower. But what will happen when the military and the guild crush their last hope for saving the city? Next time, imaginary gear. Foolish Master Nato. If you aren't willing to make the sacrifice yourself, somebody else will have to do it for you. Try not to waste too much time crying. <laughs>